welcome back so now in this video we will do the remaining work first we will get some methods about the widget bill so let's go about the widget bill there we go with the widget bill about that in here the first method that we will create is going to be white type and going to give the name as a mac suggestion and we're going to just create a string type input and pass that from here and this will be asynchronous future type so in here we will write the async get this down from here now in here we will say string and we're gonna simply say give the name as Google places API and then we say key okay so now what we will do we will simply just open the Google Maps platform and from there we will just copy the places API key so open the browser and here we are right in the Google Maps platform we will go towards the key and credentials and from here as you guys can see that maps API key show key click upon that and copy that from here copy it go back towards the Android studio and close that from here so in here now we will just paste it right in those strings okay and right after that first let me just paste it in here and I will provide the specific ground URL which will just request a response from Google whenever the user will search something right in the search bar so it will just return a response from the Google first we will just uh, send a request towards the Google and then it will just return a response from uh, Google so I'll provide this specific ground URL right in the description and you guys can simply just get it from there so don't worry for that and we just assign that specific URL to the string type variable ground URL so basically this URL is for the Google Maps places APIs and it will just complete the service and basically it will be autocomplete which will allow developers to implement location autocomplete and functionality in their application so we are having that specific URL just to request a response from the Google and right after that I'll just pass the request and I will also provide that right in the description you can simply get it from there but before pasting that I'll just go and declare a string type variable for the token it will be just for the session of a user so in here above let's create that we'll say string type and gonna name this as a token for session and you can provide in the string and you can just give any number in here like that all just fine now I'll just provide the request key in here and I'll provide this right in the description as I told you already you can get, you guys can get it from there pass it in here there we go so in here we just provide the ground URL which will just hold the base URL for the Google Maps places APIs autocomplete service and that specific input it will just pass the user partial input text for which we want to just get the autocomplete suggestion and it is added as a query parameter to the URL so that's why in here we get it and you guys can also see that Google Places API key okay that one that we just passed while ago 
and basically that key parameter is required to just authenticate user request to the Google Maps API and it is added as a query parameter in here and set it towards the unique API key and right after that you guys can see that token for a section we provide that in here it's a uh, optional but it can be used to tie multiple requests for the specific user session so basically it's help Google services to better understand the user behavior for example the billing system and reporting purposes so that's why we are having that specific token for the session and I will just provide that right in the description you guys can simply just get it from there now right after that what I'll do let's get down and in here we will create a variable by the name response result and in this variable we will just assign since it's a future matter async so in here we'll say avit and gonna have the http and then we say dot get in here click upon that and import the library let me just add it manually right above because we didn't see the suggestion so in here we'll say import then we say in here package and with it h there we go and we say as h ttp so we are done with that now you guys will see there has been gone now okay now right in those braces we will say URI and in there with it we'll say dot purse and we will just provide the request in here which request that request in which we just assign that specific key okay for the request so in here we'll just copy that from here and add in this past it and we just assign that request add in this variable by the name response result and right after that we'll create another variable by the name result data in which we will just assign the response result that we just created a while ago that one okay and we'll say dot body dot to string you will convert it to string then edit and semicolon and we just assign that right in this variable by the name result data now we are about to just print that in here so first we'll have a text for that we'll say result data let me just give a space data and with it we'll just say print that specific result data in which we assign that response result and right after that we're gonna just set the condition if and we will check if the response result with dot status code if that's equal to 200 if it's successful then only in that case we'll have a sysstat right in there since it's a stat forwarded so it will just change the result dynamically so we are having that sysstat in here now before writing the code in here we will go just declare the list for the specific places that the user will search for so in here what I'll do I'll just create that specific list and it's going to be dynamic 
and in here we will give the name as list for places and it's going to be then array because there will be a multiple places in it, this specific list now we're going to just copy that from here and go down right in this state past it now we will just assign in there first we will write json because all of the result data is going to be in the json format so in here we will say json encode there we go with all the suggestion json and json decode we will go with this one and in there we will provide the resource so in here we will say response result and dot body dot to string convert to string in here and it's going to be in the form of prediction whenever the user will search for a specific place it's going to be in the form of prediction and it's going to be right inside the specific list so in here we are having that bracket and right inside that string and then we say prediction all just fine and we just assign that in the list for places and right after that that's the working of if and if the result will not be successful then right in the else what we will do we will just throw the exception so in here we will say exception and we are going to show the specific message which will be something like showing data failed try again you can write whatever you want in here I'll just go with it this write it and semicolon so I have already explained this in detail for that specific method max suggestion this video is getting a little lengthy so we will end this video right here and right from the next video we will create another specific method and then we will go for just testing the app so see you in the next one that's it for this video